Good morning, Year 2. Today is Wednesday, the 27th of January. Welcome back. Thank you to all those of you who sent uh, yesterday's maths work in. I'm going to take you through today's maths lesson. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen so we can warm up our maths brains. Okay, so here we are. We're going to warm up today by doing some quick fire doubles and some quick fire halves. So I'm going to call out a number and I want you to call out to the screen what would be double. Okay, so what is double six? Hopefully you would have said 12. What is double seven? Hopefully you would have said 14. What is double 10? Well done if you said 20. And what is double four? Well done if you said eight. Okay, let's do halving now. What is half of 10? Well done if you said five. What is half of six? Hopefully you said three. What is half of four? Hopefully you said two. And last one, what is half of 12? Well done if you said six. Okay, so that's a really good activity to get someone in your house to do with you. So quick fire, doubles and a halves every day would make you a super whiz. So well done. Okay, let's carry on with our math work for today. Right, so let's look at our learning intention. I can recognize the inverse relationship between multiplication and division. So over the last uh, four weeks, we have been doing multiplication and division. And today we're look looking at the relationship between those two operations. Now the word inverse means the opposite. So multiplication is the opposite of division and division is the opposite of multiplication. And we're going to look at how those operations link together. So our first challenge, it says group the socks into pairs. So first you've got to remember what is a pair? Do you remember what we uh, talked about pairs a while back when we were talking about pairs of socks, pairs of gloves, pairs of eyes. So remember a pair is two of something. Then it says write a multiplication and division number sentence to represent the number of, oh there's a typing error there, number of socks. Okay, so that's the first part. Group the socks into pairs and then write a multiplication and a division number sentence to represent the number of socks. Once you've done that, then you've got to see if you can group the socks in a different way and write the multiplication and division number sentence and see how many ways you can group them. Now this might take you a little while, so you need to pop me on pause and then come back to me once you think you've found all the ways. So I, I will see you shortly. Good luck. Welcome back. Okay, so let's see how you approach this problem. I'm going to show you my next page where I've done some grouping. So our first uh, challenge was to put the socks into pairs. And as I said, a pair means two. So. I've put them into groups. Let me show you. Here is my one group of two, my two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two. So if I was writing that as a multiplication number sentence, what would I write? I've got six lots of two. Shout it out to the screen. Hopefully you would have said six times, that means our lots of two. What is six lots of two? Well, let's count in twos to find out. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So six times two equals 12. Okay, so now we know how many socks we've got all together. We can write a division number sentence so we're starting off with 12. And we've got groups of two. So we've got one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two. So 12 
divided by two equals six. Have a look at the numbers. Six, two, 12, 12, two, six. So the three numbers are the same in each calculation. Okay, so I've grouped the socks uh, differently this time. And this time I have got one, two, three, four, five, six in one group. One, two, three, four, five, six in another group. So I've got two groups of six. So this time my number sentence would be two times two lots of six. Now we know it equals 12 because the number of socks haven't changed. We've just grouped them differently. Okay, so for our division number sentence, remember start with the biggest number, 12 divided by, and we've got equal groups of six, so 12 divided by six equals two, because we've got two groups. Okay, so let's have a look at the numbers again. We've got a two, a six, a 12, a 12, a six, a two. So the same three numbers appear there. Okay, I'm gonna group them um, slightly differently now. This time I've grouped them into groups of three. So this is my three times table. How many groups of three have I got? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to say four, lots of three, so my time symbol four times three. Now we know we've got 12 socks because the number of socks haven't changed. I haven't added or taken any away, have I? Equals 12. So now for our division number sentence, you know we're going to start with 12. We've got three in each group, so we're going to divide by three equals, and we've got one, two, three, four groups. Let's look at the numbers. A four, a three, and a 12. A 12, a three, and a four. The same three numbers. This time I have grouped my socks into groups of four. So I've got one group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four. So I'm going to do my four times table. I've got three lots of, so I'm going to do my times four, three lots of four equals 12, and then for my division, I've got 12 to start with. I'm dividing them, dividing 12 by four, because I've got four in each group, equals how many groups? We have three. So 12 divided by four equals three. So again, look at the three numbers. We've got a three, a four, and a 12, a 12, a four, and a three. So the same three numbers appear in each calculation. Well done. Hopefully you had a good go at that. So we're gonna carry on looking at um, what we call a fat family. And this is all to do with the relationship between multiplication and division. There's an example of a fat family here alongside an array. So we've got um, six times four is 24. Four times six equals 24. 24 divided by four equals six. 24 divided by six equals four. So have a look at the numbers. We've got six, four, 24. Four, six, 24. 24, four, six. 24, six, four. So the same three numbers appear in each calculation. Now remember that when we do a division, the biggest number has to come first. Okay, so in your number sentence, remember that. So a fact family is a set of four related multiplication and division facts that use the same three numbers. Let's do a fact family together. Okay, so here's a fact family. I've got my three numbers. I have got an 18, a nine, and a two. And can you see I've put some uh, uh, some numbers uh, symbols, some, sorry, some operation symbols uh, here to help you. So we've got a multiplication, we've got two divisions. 
So this is going to help you hopefully write two multiplication number sentences and two division number sentences. Okay, so the first multiplication number sentence, we can just read it across. We've got nine times two, and the answer is already in our fat family, equals 18. Let's double check that by counting in twos nine times. Use your fingers. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, so we know that is right. So let's have a look at how we'd write that. So we did nine times two, nine, lots of two, nine times two equals 18. Well done. Okay, now we can turn that around because do you rem remember that a multiplication number sentence can be done in either, either way around? So we've got nine times two, so we can also have two times nine. And two times nine, our answer is here, 18. So now we're going to do our division number sentence. So remember for the division number sentence, we need to start with our biggest number before we divide it by the smaller number. So 18 is gonna be my starting number. So now I'm going to go this way first, 18 divided by nine. So our answer would be two because that's the, the number that's remaining. So 18 divided by nine equals two. And now I'm going to go this way. So start with 18. 18. So here's my 18 divided by two equals and what's left in our fact family nine. So 18 divided by two equals nine. So can you see, I've just used the three numbers in the fat family to make four calculations, two multiplication and two division. So today your challenge is to complete the fat families. You've been sent a fat family worksheet to complete. Once you've done that, take a photo of it and send it to the year two email. If you finish that, then there's a great website which allows you to play a game, a fat family game. Now I'm just gonna see if I can share with you the game um, and see if that works. Hang on one second. Let's share the screen and see if I can show it to you live. I might be able to. Okay, so here is the game. And can you see you've been given three numbers? So here's our three numbers. And what you have to do is you have to click on the numbers and the operation symbol to make the number sentences correct. So I'm going to start by doing some multiplication number sentences. So I'm going to start by saying three times two. And then what's left in my fat family equals six. So now I need to turn that multiplication around. So I'm going to do two times three equals six. Now I'm going to do a division. So remember, I'm going to start with my bigger number. So I've got six divided by two equals three and six divided by three equals two. So I've just used those three numbers to make two multiplication number sentences and two division number sentences. You then click check, it tells you if you're right, and then you can go on and do another one. Uh, so that's a really fantastic game to play. And I've put the link on the planning, which is on Padlet. Um, so uh, good luck with that. Um, I hope you do well with your fat families. And I look forward to seeing what you get up to um, and share all your work with us um, at the year two uh, email. Okay, so have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.